My name is Joshua Bardwell. I'm an RF engineer with Connect802, and today I'm going to show you how to configure per band SSIDs with the Ruckus Zone Director. This is a walkthrough video, which means I'm going to give you just the steps you need to accomplish this task. If you want a more in-depth video with more discussion and background information, there's a version of this video linked down in the video description that will provide that. Configuring per band SSIDs means that instead of having the same SSID broadcast across both the 2.4 and the 5 GHz band, you have separate SSIDs broadcast one in the 2.4 and one in the 5 GHz band. This is actually a recommended setup because it allows users to select the 5 GHz band, which usually gives better performance if they so desire. Configuring this on the Ruckus Zone Director is not as simple as just ticking a box. It can actually be a little unintuitive if you've never done it before. So let me show you the steps. Back to me. You're going to go to configure. <laughs> like I said, Bruce, I'm lands. sorry. I have to re-remember how to there, do this every time. And it's kind of stupid. It's kind of stupidly complicated as much as I hate to badmouth my own product. Example, I call you make a wool and 4 group. gigahertz only and 5 gigahertz only. 2.4 gigahertz only. Okay. And you make a new wool group 5 gigahertz only. Okay. Then Next, you're going to go, you go to the AP access group. points. And in the system all default the APs are in the system group, default group, which is we're the access edit point that, group, which access points and we're going to say that the 2.4 gigahertz radios by default go into the 2.4 gig group, only group, and the 5 gig radios by default go into 5 gig to have the WLAN group. Now, what that means is that since all APs by default are in the default AP group. But this you will not be able, it'll, it'll, you would have to jump through an additional hoop to have one SSID on both. And the 5 gig WLAN but that's from the 5 gig only WLAN group by default. If you've created AP groups other than the default AP group, of course you can make the same change to those AP groups as you desire. Be on 5 we'll gig. Go ahead down to the bottom of so the dialog then and click OK to say, accept this change. If we do this right, the system will go we'll offline. Oh, yeah. to the we don't have any WLANs to find. To make so the then let's go to WLANs. SSIDs that are going to be in this group. And we're going to make a new so WLAN. So create two so new actually, WLANs. So actually, what we want these, going to name them I don't know, what do you think, Trailer Tell 2.4 gig and Trailer Tell 5 gig, instead of the generic Trailer Tell guest. I'm, I'm uh, hardwired. I'm going to put a description in here. This is not strictly necessary, but it helps you sometimes keep your SSID straight. And then I'll scroll down and, Bruce, and I'll set up got, the uh, methods for this SSID. WPA2, in this case, we're using WPA2 with a pre-shared key and a pre-shared key, rate. which I, well, I won't show you. But, After we hit OK, okay so to accept hang on. that last trailer tell WLAN, guest 2.4, we then create another, another one, one, which is exactly the same, except we name it trailer tell guest 5.8 gigahertz 5 .8. instead of 2.4 gigahertz. You can, of course, call these whatever you want. doesn't really matter. Okay, so we've clicked OK to accept the creation of that WLAN, and you can see in the upper left-hand corner of the screen that we've got the original Trailer Tell Guest SSID, which is being broadcast in both bands, and the new Trailer Tell Guest 2.4 and Trailer Tell Guest 5.8 SSIDs, which we're going to make broadcast in only the 2.4 and the 5.8 gigahertz bands. Then, in order to do we're that, gonna we're going to go to our 2.4 gig and 5 gig only WLAN groups. We're going to put, we're gonna put the 2.4 gig WLAN in the 2.4 gig only WLAN group. And we're going to put the 5 gig WLAN in the 5 gig only WLAN group. And we'll click OK. Then, if you did have a WLAN that for some reason you wanted to put in both 2.4 and 5 gig, of course, you could make it active in both of these groups at the same time, in which case the 2.4 gig only name might not be strictly accurate. Maybe you'd want to rename your WLAN groups to be a little bit more reflective of what you're actually doing. But this setup allows you to pick and choose which WLANs you want in 2.4, which WLANs you want in 5 gig, and then if you want one in both groups, you just put it in both groups and it broadcasts the same SSID across both bands. So you really have the flexibility to do whatever it is you need to do. In order to confirm that this trailer is working correctly, I'm going to go to four, Monitor WLAN, and I'm going to click on each of yeah, these WLANs. So here are our currently active WLAN groups. Are broadcasting the 2.4 gig WLAN. only WLAN so group has the, the WLAN only trailer tell guest 2.4 in it. It contains the trailer tell guest 5 gig only WLAN group has 5.8 in it. The default WLAN group has the trailer tell guest in it. The but that one should not actually be active broadcasting that. It should not be any APs Let's make sure. that are actually. So let's see, we have three, three APs in it. Broadcasting this WLAN. That's as it should be. Hang on. 
Now we'll check the 5.8 wool end. And it has the and same three APs, APs in it. this wool end. And the and default group have no APs with the leftover wool end has and no APs we have. in it. So See, nothing no APs. is broadcasting that, which is as right. we want. That's what we want. Okay, so now you that. And there you go. That's how to set up the Ruckus Zone Director to have per band SSIDs instead of a single SSID shared across bands. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Whatever your wireless needs, from indoor office Wi-Fi to outdoor 60 gigahertz point-to-point -point microwave, 400 megahertz spectrum analysis services, wireless network design, survey of existing buildings, troubleshooting of wireless networks that are not working up to spec, whatever it is you need related to wireless, Connect Data 2 is your resource for commercial wireless data networking. With 20 years in the wireless networking business and over a billion square feet of area design, chances are that whatever your wireless needs, not only can we do it, but we have done it. Please give us a call or an email today.